it's merely just a, kind of a test run of a new thing that I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to film this 1080, 60 frames a second. So hopefully it comes out the way I want it to. But I want to do a couple of things that a lot of people may want to know about their first time at Disney World. Now, we're going to get off right off the bat and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do the very moment you get here. Now, there's two ways to get in there. One is a monorail, which is right over there. The other one is a ferry. I've said it many, many, many times. Take the ferry. The ferry boat is actually the most fastest way. Well, it's not the fastest, but it has a shorter line. Plus, you get the scenic view of all of Disney. So, that's where we're heading to. We're heading to the ferry. We're going in the park. So my strategy for Disney World is pretty much similar to the strategy I have at Disneyland. Meaning, when you're here at the castle, you make a, a right going to get you to Space Mountain, Tomorrowland, all that. We're going to make a left and go to Frontierland. My goal, Frontierland. Or American Experience. Is you hit Haunted Mansion first. So that's kind of where we're going to go. And right now, it's almost kind of in the middle of the day. So it is a little crowded. But we're going to still go left. So the thing to keep in note, especially if you've been to Disneyland but not to Disney World, is that this little rotunda here, especially like when it comes to the hub and the castle, it's a lot more expanded than you may find at Disneyland. So there's a lot more space, but you can't go through the castle. So uh, just FYI on that one. In the event that everybody wants to get to Fantasyland, you actually have to go sort of around through that tunnel right there. So let's check out the other parts of the park. So again, here, let's see if we follow in. We are in the American, old American area here. Um, so, how pretty cool is that? This is typically the first place I hit up, no matter what. It's only because like I like the area. You have Haunted Mansion, which is right in this way. So, and then if you go that way, Go to Frontierland. Also, again, Diamond Horseshoe is pretty important because at Disneyland is the gold in Horseshoe. So, I never really ate there yet, but it's gonna happen sooner or later. Now, keep this in mind it's a very busy day today. We're still in tail end of June, going into July. So, there's still a ton of people. Just kind of walking around, and I'm kind of in the thick of it. There's this guy. I don't know his name. Bear. Somebody. I'm a bad Disney fan. So here's one thing that I have yet to do at Disney World. So we're gonna go check it out. Tom Sawyer Island. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, we gotta go through this way. Through the bars and through the line. Do this little gate thingy right on the ship. Heading over there. Welcome. If if mm, you like dark caves, mystery mines, bottomless pits, zicky bridges, and big rocks, you've come to the best place. I know you're not like creamy old scary place. Don't worry. Hunk myself was funny here too. Hunk was worse skin than me, Tom. Was, no, Hunk. Any of these signs with Tom signing, like signing on it and kind of having the writing on it right here. Um, if you know the history of Huck Finn. Mm, might come off a bit racist? Maybe? Possibly? 
It might be me. Also, just keep in mind, Huck Finn has a lot of different, like, layers, like, sort of areas that you can climb up. I'm, like, inside this, like, lighthouse, which kind of leads off into his own, like, pathway down these stairs that you can go. This is interesting. Just kind of go and get lost here. Let's see what other things they have here. Now, there is a cave here, although it says exit, but I'm a rebel, so I'm gonna go in the exit. And the light in here is bad. And I can't see anything. You just have these little caverns and stuff. here they got this bridge they can cross down but if you look over here check out that boat you wave to them hello everyone hello oh they're waving back look at them they're so nice I've never been in this area before um, but I actually found this random rocking chair that's sitting next to this dock with no one in it. Oh, there's also this warning sign right there that alligators and snakes are in the area. You guys can see it. And this is me, just all alone. In a park as busy as Disney World right now, sitting on this rocking chair, watching people ride Big Thunder Mountain, might be, quite honestly, the single most relaxing thing that one can do at Disney World. But you'd never know it was here if it wasn't for me. So boom. Enjoy that, baby. I feel like I'm Jacob from Lost. Sitting here in this rocking chair, surveying Disney World for all the splendor it has. I like this rocking chair. So therefore, I dub this rocking chair right here on this dock, Sean chair. So if you're ever sitting in my chair, show the proper respect, hashtag Sean chair. Take a photo, send it to me, Instagram, Twitter. And then I'll be happy that you found my chair. Let's continue forward, shall we? Now out of Tom Sawyer Island, so you see Splash Mountain right over that way. But that'll be the end of our trail, so we're gonna head this way towards Pirates. Really quick tip. Uh, try to eat here at all chances if you can. The Golden Oak Outpost is actually right between Splash Mountain and Pirates. They have actually chicken breast and nuggets for $10, which is actually really good. And they actually give you decent sized portions of those chicken nuggets. Which means that once you eat those chicken nuggets, they give you fries and a drink. You're pretty full at the end of the day. For $10, it's actually really good. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's actually really good. Quick tip, a lot of people have the debate on whether you want the orange freeze or do you want the Dole Whip. My best choice is right here in this building. Now they got the scrims on it so you can't see, but it has this orange ice cream drink which I think is the best it's actually in, in one of the earlier videos that I put so I'll put a link in it below but that's gonna want this line is as long as it is mine too the general layout of Disney World is identical to Disneyland so literally like if you're staring at this at the castle right here you just know that there's Frontierland there's uh well Adventureland but this is gonna be the American Adventure Space Mountain's over here and right past the castle is going to be Fantasyland so it's pretty much the same layout no matter where you look at it so that way it gives that little bit of familiarity when you walk it through. Yet again, back to Tomorrowland. Right here. I have a little bit of a 
size gripe when it comes to Tomorrowland. Now, if you ever go to Disneyland and you're in Tomorrowland, you have a lot of space. You have tons and tons of space everywhere. But here, you kind of don't. You see behind me, it's like a small corridor. It gets jam-packed pretty quickly, and it's kind of hard to navigate through the traffic of it all. So, uh, it's something to get used to. Kind of lines. If you're not a big fan of just like riding like anything that's like kind of fast and grading, definitely try to ride the people mover. That's also another helpful pit. Hit there only because it's really the only one. They did have one in California, but it's gone now. Been gone for a while. So instead of Autotopia, they have Tomorrowland Speedway. But if you come up right over here, up these stairs, you got the grandstand, so that way you can see. All the races. Kind of looks like a racetrack. It's cool. Although right there is the uh, mine train, which is typically, if you don't have a fast pass for, it's going to be waiting about two hours. Uh, I like to just kind of go over in this little tucked away area over here. Because right there in that little mountain area, that's Be My Guest. Uh, pretty cool restaurant. You've got to get reservations early. Or shoot down this way to Gaston's Tavern. We're right in front of Gaston's Tavern. Check that out. But inside is where you'll be able to get the Lufo Brew. So here we go with the uh, giant carousel, right? What's weird about this area is that Fantasyland is almost seeming to be cut in like two parts. So you have this area, which has, right down there, Peter Pan, It's a Small World, the Fantasy Fair, the Carousel, the Princess Fairy Tale Hall. But if we make a left and continue on down that way, you're going to see the other half of Fantasyland. Yeah. Again, it's right through here called the Storybrooke Circus. So you don't have like a traditional Fantasyland, but you do have is Dumbo, which is cool because if you have a nice virtual queue for Dumbo, then they also have their fast passes right over here. Also, the other thing though, as well, I know I've covered it before, um, but on a hot day, this is the area you want to go to. Kind of like, you know, just that little like, soaking to get wet area. See people over there, get soaked by that thing. It's brutal. Yeah. What's going on with this monkey? Smell my flower! You don't want to get wet by that monkey. It's going to take you 20 years to come up with a plan to destroy him. And our journey ends right where it belongs. Right up here at the train station in Main Street. That's going to bring it to the end of my day. Um, although it may not have been as entertaining as other episodes, I'm doing something a little different. Um, I think I said at the early at the beginning. Is that I'm trying to record and seeing almost like a test to see how this looks filming at 1080 60p 60 frames a second and how that kind of translates into outputting it, editing it, editing it, and how it looks to you. I think it looks good from what I can see, but that was just my tour of Disney World Magic Kingdom. Uh, there's a little bit of tips in there, but there's really no tip that I can give you uh, that could help you if you come uh, on any given day. Only because um, 
it's always busy. I, I haven't seen a day where it's light. In Disneyland, you'll get a light time from like maybe like early in the morning until four o'clock, and that's when everybody starts coming off, coming off of work, and they come into the park. Here, you don't get that. It's constantly busy, so there's always people here, all the time, no matter what. It's a great uh, vacation spot. It's a great resort. It's a great place to come. But if you want the most out of your rides, use the Fast Pass. Use the app um, to get your Fast Passes ahead of time. And then when you use one, you go back to the other, and then you just kind of cycle that way. If you want like the big rides, like the mine train and stuff like that, you want to try to get the Fast Passes like well in advance, like right now, like now, now. So if you're coming like months in the future, get your Fast Passes now because they'll be going to be available. Because people are looking months in advance to getting Fast Passes. So with that. It's the end of my day. Sandy Miss High School Football Rules. I'm out.